Hi everyone and thanks for joining me. I am super excited today because I am showing you some a new product. It's called 3D Puff Stuff. It is put out by John Deere of Embroidery Legacy. You may know him from Digitizing Made Easy. That's who I learned Wilcom Hatch from. But he has come up with this new product and this takes the place of 3D foam. And it is so easy to use. It's ridiculously easy. The beauty of it is it doesn't have to have special digitizing like 3D foam does. This is, it can use ordinary satin stitches, half the density, saves you a lot of time and the results are amazing. As you can see, this product looks sort of like a felt. It's a sort of a thick, felt feeling product and I'm going to show you in this video just how easy this is to use so let's not waste any more time because I know you're going to want to get some of this by the way it's on sale right now I will link it in the description below it is not an affiliate link but you are welcome to go grab it it's on sale and it comes in 40 inches by 36 inch pieces so one yard and it's a 40 inch width so let's get started. So this is how this works. I've got my patch already started. I've appliqued the first piece down with the placement and then the tack down. And now I'm going to take a piece of this puff stuff. And you can see it's about that thick. I'm not doing anything to it. I just have a little bit of tape just to secure it in place. I'm gonna make sure it's over my design. Tape that down. And then, so I'm using it like a topper. This goes on top of your design. So I'm gonna go ahead and let the rest of the design stitch out. Now you're not gonna put the puff stuff on top until you're doing your satin stitches. So if you're doing a fill, you probably don't wanna put that underneath the fill. You wanna wait till you're doing your finishing stitches, your satin stitches. So everything from here on is going to be satin stitches. So let's let it go. patch that I just pulled off of the machine. I've removed most of the badge master from the back. This is the leftover puff stuff. So I'm just going to trim this down. Save your scraps guys because you can use these on other projects to add a little dimension. So I'm just trimming it down. You don't have to be precise or anything. You don't even have to trim it down. It's just I'm doing it to save it. The other thing about this puff stuff is it's environmentally friendly, so it's fine to go down the drain. I have warmed the water. It's just a lukewarm water. I've got a toothbrush. I'm just gonna run it under the sink with a toothbrush, lightly brushing it until I feel the product disappear. Doesn't take long at all. And that's it. Now I just have to let it dry. You can see it's already puffy. I don't know what it is, but the puff does not rinse out from underneath the stitching, but it disappears from everywhere else. Very, very cool. So isn't this the coolest product ever? So much easier than using the foam, plus you don't have to digitize for foam. This is just regular digitizing. This was actually auto digitized in Chroma. This is my Never Stop Making logo. Love, love, love. Look at that dimension, you guys. It is insane. I wish you could see it in person because it's so much more impressive in person. I will link this product in the description below the video. It's not an affiliate link. It's just there. If you guys want to grab some, I highly suggest that you do. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click that bell so that you're notified every time there's a new video. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, never stop making.